Hi everyone, I have heavenly creatures today, or heavenly creature, heavenly creature, yeah, that one, not plural, okay, anyway, so I picked it up today, the girls were like, oh my god, where were you yesterday, we were afraid you died, because I never miss a day that the collection comes out, literally as soon as I can pick my collection up, I will be there picking it up, so I wanted to start off with Fire Sign, which is the one lipstick that I got, and um, Fire Sign looks like this. It's a luster, so it doesn't pack a huge punch. I'm actually currently wearing Fire Sign with a Galaxy Rose on top of it. I think it's a good kind of like natural and nice color. Um, let's see here. I'll just swatch Fire Sign right there. It's kind of like a berry-ish red, um, but it's again like it's a luster, so it doesn't doesn't pack a huge punch. Uh, along with this collection, Pleasure Seeker came out. I didn't get Pleasure Seeker because one, it's a glaze. I'm not a huge fan of glazes. And two, it was a little too light for my lips. My lips are very pigmented and it just kind of like showed every imperfection and made me look kind of washed out. So it just wasn't a great pairing. Then uh, Cut a Caper came out with this collection. I already own it. I never wear it. It's not a particularly flattering color on me. Uh, if I swipe it once, you can barely see it. If I swipe it twice, it washes me out. And again, uh, shows all the imperfections in my lips. Not a particularly flattering color either. I didn't get Venus. Um, when I swatched it, uh, I didn't see anything. There was like no color. Uh, Venus is kind of like a nudie color. Um, but it's, I believe, it's a luster. So it just didn't I couldn't see it and then I put it on my lips and it just looked exactly like what my lips normally look like. It wasn't even like my lips but better, it was just my lips so that pff, had no point. <laughs> um, and then there was Fire Sign which I got and I really like. Um, I personally like it with Galaxy Rose on top. And then there was Cusp of Dawn which is this like beige pink which was also a luster and it just wasn't amazing is the best way to put it like it was okay but it's just it wasn't like a, I have to buy this you know um but let's see I'll show you the cream sheens now and let's see I got two cream sheens this one is galaxy rose I'll show it to you on its own and then swatched on top of fire sign so here is galaxy rose on its own and then on this side right here, that's on top of Fire Sign. I feel like they're perfect together. They work really well. The second one that I got is called Strictly Plutonic. I really like this one. It's kind of a nudie color. I try to compare it to the existing Cream Sheen nudes. I didn't find anything that fit the bill. And it doesn't look like much in this swatch, I'm not going to lie. Um, that's it right here. But on the lips, it was just... I guess the best phrase is my lips, but better. it's kind of like this like peachy, rosy nude is the best way to put it. So it's not like nude nude, but I think it's a good nude for olive skin. So that's the best way to put it. So I wasn't going to get this because in the tube I was like, I have other things that look like that. And then when I tried it on, it got the better of me. I don't know what it was. But as for the colors I didn't get, there was Celestial Kiss, which is like this pale, cool peach, and it was just too light and too sheer. I could barely see it, and if I really layered it on, it looked like I had paste on my lips, so that didn't look particularly great. Then there was Meteoric, Meteoric which is this like mid-tone, vibrant coral is how MAC puts it, and that one looked a lot like Star Quality that came out with um, their previous collection, and and it had shimmer in it. Then there's Astral, which is like a bright yellow pink. It's too light, and it was so opaque that it made it look like my lips were out of bubble gum because it was like this bubblegum pink color didn't look very good. So after that, um, I'm looking at my notes here, just see, wondering why I'm looking away. Um, then there were the uh, mineralized skin finishes. So I got two out of the four. The two that I got are Center of the Universe and Light Ear. Um, I love both of these. So I'll just start off with Light Ear, which is kind of like this peachy pink kind of color with a little bit of gold shimmer to it. It actually kind of reminds me of Orgasm. Apparently everything reminds me of orgasm. Um, I will say these do feel a wee bit gritty when I'm swatching it with my hand, but when I'm putting it on with a brush, 
I don't get that sensation. So this is Lightyear, and I'm going to move it around so you can see it. It's very light, but it has a peachy pink gold color to it. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's going to be incredibly flattering on olive skin. And, and of course, fair skin. Fair skin people are going to love this thing, but really flattering on my skin tone. I loved it when I tried it out in the store and was just so excited to get it. And the second one I got was Center of the Universe, which I love how this looks in the pan. It's kind of crazy amazing, right? Like, so cool. Okay, so Center of the Universe I would describe as kind of like a corally orange color. Um, it kind of reminds me of Stereo Rose. Stereo Rose definitely leaned more coral red. This is a little less opaque and um, more orange. So here is a swatch of Center of the Universe and I love this color. I can't even put into words how much I love it. It's my favorite thing out of the entire collection. It's just my favorite thing ever. Um, and it looks amazing on. It's just such a good color for olive skin because of the orange tones in it. So the other two uh, MSFs that came out with this collection were Earthshine and Star Wonder. So Earthshine, it was this kind of like tarnished bronze color. Um, it was a beautiful color, but it is definitely made for people who are like NC45 or higher. If you're NC45 or higher, pick up Earthshine because it's going to look gorgeous and beautiful on you. It just pulls too dark for someone that's not of like NC45 or higher skin tone. Um, but seriously, if you're African American, please get this. It's, it's such a beautiful color. If you swatch it, it's kind of like, it's like purpley and it really does have like a gold pink reflect. It just, it's such a glow and I think it would look beautiful on people NC45 or higher or even NW45 or higher. It's just amazing color. The other one was Star Wonder, which was kind of like this plummy pink and, um, it pulled too cool on you are fair skinned. That would be a wonderful color for you. I think don't get center of the universe if you are fair skinned. Definitely get Star Wonder. It's just kind of how it works out. <laughs> um, and then I got two mineralized blushes. So I got Supernova and Ring of Saturn. Ring of Saturn looks so cool in the pan. It's just like how cool is that, right? So in the pan, you, you're thinking, oh, that looks like really kind of, like the red part looks kind of dark and bricky. Um, but when you swatch it, it's actually very flatteringly pretty. Oh, that's probably better. Yeah. So it kind of like, like a dusty pearlescent rose color. So that's um, Ring of Saturn. I, I think that's a great color. The other one that I got was Supernova. And Supernova is a bright fuchsia color. So um, this one uh, reminded me of Overdyed, uh, which came out with a couple of collections in the past for MAC. It looks very similar to Overdyed, but it's not exactly the same. Overdyed is more blue, but they're not the same if you're wondering. And the other reason that I really wanted this is, to be honest, I want to wear this as an eyeshadow. <laughs> um, so let's see here. That is, it's very pigmented color. Uh, you're gonna have to be careful with it. If you're light skinned or you're fair or anything like that, be very careful with how you put this on. It is very pigmented. I think it's the most pigmented thing out of the collection. So with the uh, collection, there were four blushes. So I got, let's see, I got Ring of Saturn and Supernova. So there was also Solar Ray, which was this like peach, gold melange as Mac called it and it was very pretty but it was more of a highlighter than a blush on NC35 skin or higher because it's so light um however it is very warm uh solar ray I skipped on because when I put it on it just disappeared and looked more like a highlighter than a blush so I'm not gonna buy something if it's a blush and it doesn't work like a blush <laughs> especially because as a highlighter it wasn't that great of a highlighter there was also Stratus, which is this like amethyst golden brown with um, 
this like uh, kind of orangey gold swirling in it and it was just way too dark for me. I would say that that's something that would work on like NC40 or higher. So just like that one MSF that was just too dark for me, that's kind of what the case is with Stratus. Uh, if you're NC40 or higher, check it out because it's going to be a great color on you. Again, if you're African American, it's going to be an amazing color on you. But uh, for people that are like NC35 like me or, you know, uh, lighter, you're not going to be able to pull off that color. It is just way too dark. I think if you really wanted to try and make it work and you wanted to kind of go in there with a very light hand, you could pull it off. But really, if you have to put that much work into anything, do you really want it? So... There's that. So this is Aurora. This is the only eyeshadow that I got from this collection, and it is cool looking. Um, when you swatch it, uh, it pulls this very nice, kind of interesting looking brown. Um, but I didn't buy it just because of the way that it's swatched alone. Um, I bought it because when I put it on top of Bear Study and um, on top of uh, groundwork, the color just intensified in two different ways and it was just very complex and it looked like a wonderful, wonderful color. So I'm really glad that I got it because while I feel like it's a color that you'll see a lot, um, it really pulled me in somehow and it was the only one of the eyeshadows of the entire collection that did that. And so the other eyeshadows that came out with it were Magnetic Attraction. It was like this orange, pink, gold melange. And all of the eyeshadows that came out in the collection are frost, by the way. And it looked too much like Mythical and Coppering, which I already own. Um, so it's just, I'm not going to pay $20 for something that looks really close to something I already own. So I, I didn't grab it, but it is a very pretty color. It does swatch well. It is good consistency. So if you don't have something like, um, mythical or coppering, then yeah. Or if you feel like you wear those kinds of colors a lot, then definitely get it. And then there's Neo Nebula, which is this cream warm amethyst kind of melange. Um, I felt like it leaned too cool for me. It was definitely a lavenderish kind of color, which didn't really work. Uh, there was Invincible Light, which is kind of like an icy white lavender melange, and it was just too frosty, too light, too cool for my olive skin. Um, then there was Water, and it was just too sheer. And it was difficult to swatch it. It was really gritty. It was sheared out. And even when I tried it wet, it was horrible. It was the worst eyeshadow ever in existence, probably. Then there was Bright Moon, which a uh, gray, silver, and ice melange. And it's very frosty. And it just would not be flattering on olive skin because it leaned too cool. But if you're, you know, cool toned and you're looking for something that is kind of like a frosty-ish kind of blue-gray, that's a great color. Um, Sky is kind of like this green gold turquoise cobalt melange and it's a great color. So pretty but you really have to pack it on to build it up because when you swatch it, it doesn't look like the pan. You're expecting this like bright kind of blue color but and you can get it there but you really have to build it up in order to do it. Uh, then there's Earthly which is like this like beige peach kind of cool brown melange. And that kind of turned into a color that I feel like I own in a million different palettes. It wasn't particularly like attention getting and it didn't, it didn't reel me in or make me think I really need this eyeshadow. So I just didn't pick it up, didn't really grab me. Um, and I think that's all of them. Um, so yeah, out of all of the eyeshadows, I only grabbed Aurora. Aurora, that's a weird way to say. Aurora. Anyway. Uh, okay, so that's those are my recommendations and that's what I got and hopefully just my input helps you make a decision and uh, I, I went to Sephora today and got locked in there because there was an armed gunman outside of the store. That's living in San Francisco for you apparently, um, but it only happened for about five minutes and then I was free to go, but that was weird. Anyway, I got some cool stuff so hopefully I'll have a good video of what I got at Sephora very soon. So, yeah. I lead an interesting life, guys. Bye!